This video is created by Nihar Dash from YouTube. This video is created by Nihar Dash from YouTube. Nine different types of bird nests and how to spot them written by Nihar Dash for public domain purpose only home tweet home. Learn about the many distinct types of bird nests in the different locations where you might find a bird. Nest.The classic cup of woven sticks, like a robin nest, is just one of many types of bird nests. Shorebird and nightjar nests are barely present, just slight divots on the ground. Orioles construct some of the most elaborate woven baskets, which hang as pendulums from tree branches. A few species, including burrowing owls, puffins and kingshers, nest in underground tunnels. Nests are little climate-controlled structures perfect for eggs and hatchlings, says Zara Winicki Smith, a PhD candidate in avian evolutionary ecology at the University of Illinois, Urbana Champaign. Check out nine different types of bird nests below, and learn where various species which written by Neher Dash for public domain purpose only. One long-lasting large bird nests bald eagle nest. Long-lasting large bird nests bald eagle nest courtesy Tanya Sharp bald eagles make their nests bigger each year. The grand champion bird nest builder is the bald eagle. In 1963, an eagle's nest near St. Petersburg, Florida, was declared the largest at nearly 10 feet wide, 20 feet deep, and over 4,400 pounds. That nest was extreme. Most bald eagle nests are 5 to 6 feet in diameter and 2 to 4 feet tall. Nest construction can take three months. Eagles typically reuse the same nest year after year, adding to it each season. Two flexible, small bird nest shimming bird nest flexible, small bird nest shimming bird nest courtesy Nancy Marshall shimming bird nests are tinnate, should come as no surprise that hummingbirds, our smallest birds, make the smallest nests. Hummingbirds build nests on top of tree branches, using plants, soft materials and spider webs. Ruby-throated hummingbirds decorate theirs with flakes of lichen. And as hummingbirds may lay eggs before a nest is completed, continuing to build the sidewalls during incubation. Most impressive is how these nests stretch. Female hummingbirds usually lay a pair of eggs the size of black beans inside a nest about the diameter of a quarter. As the baby hummingbirds grow, the nest expands, keeping things tight and cozy. Three Oriole Nests Oriole Nests Anthony Mersiakit might take a female Altamira Oriole three weeks to build a nest. Orioles are the seamstresses of the bird world. Their iconic pendant nests dangle from outermost tree branches. Oriole nests are impossible to miss among the barren winter branches, and nearly as impossible to spot, surrounded by leaves, during the breeding season. Orioles use whatever material is available to stitch their bag nests. Long grasses, twine, even horsehair. The nests are lined with soft nesting material such as plant fibers, feathers or animal wool. The Altamira oriole of extreme South Texas and Central America constructs one of the longest angling nests, which can hang down more than two feet. For no fuss scrape nests Kildir bird no fuss scrape nests Kildir bird courtesy Ronald Clark Kildir nest on the ground it's the exception rather than the rule, but a few species of birds get away with building hardly any nest at all. This doesn't mean they are haphazard in their approach to laying eggs, though. Beach nesting birds, including black skimmers, many species of terns, and piping, wilsons and other plovers, lay eggs in shallow depressions scraped out in the sand. Kildee rocked for no fuss nests by laying eggs in the open, usually on gravel or dirt, before adding sticks, rocks or other natural elements. The remarkable thing about the eggs of these species is their cryptic camouflage coloration. Eggs are often speckles and match the sandy granules of the makeshift nests. Sometimes these birds will line the shallow scrape with shells or sand to add to the camouflage. As beaches get more developed, some of these beach nesters have adapted to laying eggs on nearby rooftops. 5 Precarious Cliffside Nests Types of Bird Nests Precarious Cliffside Nests Types of Bird Nests Rolfness Bomerthic Build Murs Lay eggs on the narrow ledges of steep cliffs. Huge colonies of murs and guillemots nest on rocky coastal cliffs. Most lack any structural types of bird nests, instead laying eggs that are extra pointy on one end. This shape helps the eggs pivot around the point instead of rolling over the edge. These ledge nesting sites are also more protected from predators. Cliff nesters aren't found only on coasts. Lots of species, including condors, ravens and falcons, use cliffs, but they build stick nests in the crevices. 
six floating nests types of bird nests floating nests types of bird nests Francis and Jane bird chrysalis greeds build nests in shallow water dots some water birds including many ducks nest in upland grasslands far from water others such as loons greeds coots and gallinules nest directly on top of the water eggs will sink so the birds build floating platform nests out of cattails reeds other aquatic vegetation or mud they anchor the nests to emergent vegetation to conceal them and to keep them from drifting away. Seven underground bird nests burrowing owl pair underground bird nests burrowing owl per courtesy Marianne Ingraying. Burrowing owls underground types of bird nests are called burrows. Burrowing owls in Florida will sometimes dig their own burrow, while the burrowing owls in the West usually rely on spots excavated by prairie dogs, badgers, tortoises or other diggers. Other underground nesters include bank swallows, belted kingfishers and Atlantic puffins. Eight early bird nest great horned owl nest, types of bird nests, early bird nest great horned owl nest, types of bird nests courtesy armatasnan osprey nest was taken over by an owl. It is hard to say officially who lays the first eggs each year, but my pick for my favorite bird nests is the great horned owl. Sure, many species can begin nesting in January in southern states, but it is still winter in the northern states, when great horned owls start incubating their eggs in nests made of sticks, often in trees. It's essential that these owls get an early start on nesting, because the species is slow to hatch and fledge. It is remarkable to think of the owls sitting on eggs as snow piles up during frigid nights. 9 Cavity Bird Nest Spilleted Woodpecker Cavity Bird Nest Spilleted Woodpecker Courtesy Amy began to male pileated woodpecker at a cavity, nest primary cavity nesters, such as woodpeckers, excavate holes in trees and cacti for nesting. Secondary cavity nesters, such as bluebirds, chickadees and tree swallows, use these holes or set up housekeeping in birdhouses. Learn how to build a D bluebird house.